Okay, what I'd like to show you is uh, something that my son was working on today, and and uh, we we talked about a little bit. That's how to make an F chord. Um, so the best way I think uh, to learn how to play an F chord is a bar F. There's a, there's other ways, but in this lesson, I'm going to show you the fundamental way of playing an F chord. And once you learn to play the F chord. You can go down and, and also bar other chords, and, and this will be a good starting point. It's probably the easiest bar chord that you can make. So uh, the finger position is going to be the first finger. Our index finger is going to bar the sixth string, which is our low E, the, the high E, and the the B string here, all on the first fret. So this finger will re be responsible for fretting three strings. The, the high E at the first fret, the, the second string, which is our, our B string at the first fret, and the, the low E, or our sixth string here at the first fret. So when we're putting this finger across the neck, the fretboard, this is the area of pressure that we want to make sure we're exerting. Pressure on these two strings and pressure on this string. These strings don't, don't need to worry about with this finger. Okay, our middle finger will be fretting the G string at the second fret. And then our middle and pinky will be in the third fret with our pinky on the D string and our ring finger on the A string. Okay, and then of course we will uh, not, we will, uh, well that's all, that's, that's all of the, uh, the positions, okay. And then we can play, the, good, the advantage of playing a bar F is that we can play, we have a low F, which is the E string, and then we have the the high F, so you can get a fuller sound. Let me get a pick here. Um, and so if you're playing a song, there, you may want to accentuate the, the F on, your, on the sixth string, or you may want to put a little more accent on the the higher F in the chord, or a full, you can have a full, a full sound as well. So that's the advantage of playing it this way: is that you just have more flexibility. If you'll watch Jack Johnson, he he plays a lot of his chords using a bar chord, so he can have a little more flexibility in and 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 how the and how the the chord rings out, and this gives you a little more leeway. So that's an F chord, a barred F chord. And the best way to practice this probably would be, first of all, you know, you want to make sure that each string rings out. And then you could try a, a chord progression. For example, you could try C, G, and then back to your F. And, and and get some practice, you know, getting to that F quickly. A couple little secrets that are well known and taught on the internet are this finger you want to roll this this finger a little bit because the side of your finger is is is, is straighter than than the inside pad part. So you can you kind of roll that. A little bit. Another thing that you can do is when you're playing this, let your left arm just let it go. Don't hold it up with your shoulder and just kind of just let it drop. And that that'll give you also give you some more pressure on on those fingers and give you a little more a little better, a little more a little more power. Make sure this thumb. Is on the back of the of the neck pushing. You don't want to have it up here. You need to have it behind the the neck and pushing. So anyway, 
that's our F chord. So get to work on that and good luck. And thanks for watching. Thank you.